Wardrobe, Jason. Hey, you as well. Who's your designer? Elementary students from Benton Community. No way, that's who I'm wearing. <sighs> they created a lot of great cardboard wearables during this maker cycle. Hey, would it be fair to say this is the largest maker challenge that we've been involved with? Absolutely it would be. This challenge involves students from multiple grades from three different elementary schools each class with a different spin on the challenge. Some were free creating and some were actually connecting it back to class projects. Benton community has really made making a focus within their district. They've been working really hard the last couple years to create maker spaces in each of their buildings. Yeah, as you're gonna see in the video, the kids really love it. Absolutely. Get inspired by the wide variety of wearable cardboard that was created with this challenge. You'll see everything from superheroes to life-size paper dolls. We'd love to see what you can create with this month's Cardboard Wearable Challenge. You could create anything from accessories to a full outfit. Send us pictures or videos of your creations and we will add them to our online maker community. And as always, have, have fun, fun making! making. I was trying to make that size of the cow, but it had to be this size. I'm going to make a skirt because Helen always wore like a dress that had a puffy skirt, and I was going to make one out of cardboard and then wear maybe like a shirt that she wears. Okay. Uh, the same color. So you take the cardboard and like go like coat, like kind of make it like a cone, and then like duct tape it, like where it's cut. Pearl Harbor in our creations, we're going to make bullet shells because sailors had bullet shells in case of attack um, around their bodies. And for the materials, we're using toilet rolls, string, and duct tape. It's like the chest plate for the Iron Man suit, and uh, uh, it shows all the different pieces that you need. See, like you can click the pieces, and it'll show like where it goes. It's really cool. If we click on it, we can find like do different pieces at one time, so we can see what the shape is, and um, see, yeah. so we don't mess up. Um, I made um dragon wings and a dragon tail. Um, I needed to um, I thought I needed to cut all these out and tape them together, but all I had to do was draw the lines and get them out. So then I made rectangles, which I don't think you can see, but that's the thing that goes in my back. Um, and my tail, um, it actually goes into your pants. Moves that changes into a full moon. Last quarter, the first quarter is this one. I made a dog cat because I 
Uh, Nathan, what is the hardest part about this? It's probably just the construction of it, like gluing these pieces to the actual cardboard is pretty hard. Yeah, finding the dimensions is pretty hard.